Hi guys, I want to keep this video very short because I've already given you material in Storify. Uh, remember in the Mixing EQ video lecture, 13 minutes long, at about 4.48, um, Loudon brings us up this EQ, and at the left-hand there's left -hand side there's an emulation of uh, the potentiometers of the control strip. I didn't find that in any of the EQs that I used. I didn't find it in the Scarlet EQ that came with my interface, which I threw away. And I didn't find it in the real EQ from Kakos that came with Reaper that I subbed in. But um, what I like about this uh, real, this Kakos real EQ is it's brilliant. It has exactly the same kind of uh, visualization of both sound and um, EQ operation as does the uh, EQ that Loudon used in the video lecture. Okay, um, I applied EQ to two of the three tracks in my recording. I applied it to the applause track, which is represented here. Okay, I kept the compressor uh, action on the applause, but I, I threw out the Scarlet uh, EQ and brought in the, the Kakos Real EQ. And what I used was um, a high pass filter uh, at low frequencies. I brought in a notch at three, around 326 because right around that frequency is some very aggressive clapping right close to the microphone and I wanted to attenuate that. Um, next one is low shelf and next and it's about 1250 with a small gain stage and at four is the low four is the low pass it cuts off frequencies around 5400 hertz okay um, and with that I have a the applause track is no longer deafening. What's more interesting I think probably is the music track there's no compression here there's only the EQ and um, what have you got? Well, you've got a bass recording. Loudon says, you know, you could set your low pass, sorry, you could set your, your high pass uh, at 100 hertz, and, and anything below 100 hertz is rumble and noise. Not true when you're talking about a bass recording. Um, the dynamic range of the double bass goes down to 35 hertz, almost to the limits of human hearing, and I'm trying to capture that, and I'm actually trying to give it some, give it some oomph. So you can see that my high pass filter is set at 35 hertz, which is the very bottom end of the bass. And I've given it uh, some colossal gain, 8.5, well, that's not very much, 8.5 decibels. And I've given it a significant bandwidth. Uh, further out, where the cello has its larger, uh, makes its presence felt, there's a low shelf, uh, a low shelf uh, EQ, parametric param EQ set at 270 hertz approximately small gain bandwidth is three then the next one out is the high shelf uh, and um, I found that for the high shelf and the low pass I didn't want to set these things too low because the cello does have some bright higher frequency um, overtones and I want to capture them okay so the high shelf is set at 1050 with a small gain of one decibel and bandwidth is two. And the low pass, um, I set it at 2850 hertz. Much below that, I was starting to get a muffled uh, recording. Okay, so just briefly let me let you listen to music. Okay, here's music. real good. Now you want to hear where it goes to applause. You can't come in here. Wow. 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 Note down here. No red line. So that all worked good from my point of view, and I thank you very much for watching.